How's it going guys? Vince here. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty cool tool and it's become one of my favorite tools to run in the form. Seriously, that was a good intro. I'm going to keep going. This tool has become one of my most favorite tools to run in the Tormox because it's just so consistent and when run properly with the right inserts, it can just make the most beautiful finishes time and time again. Introducing the Superfly. These are both TTS tools. This is just a TTS tool and a 750 BT30 tool holder. Now let's get going. Straight from Tormox website, the Superfly is a single insert fly cutter that's specifically designed for maximum performance on three horsepower spindles. Let's go over a few reasons on why you'd use this tool over a multiple insert face mill. One is cost. This tool is not very expensive and it comes with a couple inserts as well. Also with a fly cutter, one insert means you only need one insert to run instead of maybe four. Also with less inserts, that means you need less power in the cut and you don't need as high a feed rate. And that's ideal for lower power machines or machines that aren't as rigid. Now let's talk about inserts. This is the Corloy. SEHT 1204 AFFN-83. It is a polished insert that is best used in aluminum, plastics, and softer non-ferrous metals like brass. Actually works very well in brass. That's what I did uh, the challenge coins with, and it was amazing. Cut dry and just it was perfect. One thing I do want to mention is that you should look out for imitations or fakes. And if you see a price that's just too good to be true, you might want to just step away a little bit, especially if your main concern is surface finish and quality. And when using a tool like this, almost everything matters because that's the only thing touching your workpiece. The other insert that I like to use is the YG SEKT 1204 AFTN, rated for steel, stainless steel, cast iron, super alloys, and titanium. These are the two inserts that I use and I've been able to cut all of those materials. Another insert that I did try that we had some requests for is a Cavar SEHT1204 PCD. So polycrystalline diamonds, you know, diamonds. Anyway, one thing to look at when you do buy these is it only has one diamond cutting face where all these other inserts, they have four cutting. These have three normal, one diamond. If you're going for very long tool life or you wanted to take very small chip loads, I might want to go and test out the diamond in that case. And I have checked everything with the little handy dandy star profilometer. And that checks the surface roughness. I have been able to match the surface roughness of our fixture plates that come out of the Haas machines with the Tormach and these inserts. It takes a little bit of knowing your machine and some good feeds and speeds and setup, but it's totally possible and I want to show you guys those tips and tricks. Due to its single insert, the Superfly is not a naturally balanced tool. After I set the diameter that I want by moving the insert bar left to right, I usually put the tool inside the machine and run it through the RPM range with a vibration app on my phone. I've found that when my Superfly is set to about 2.5 inches in diameter, that around 2000 RPM, I have the best vibration characteristics. In my opinion, if you run it too fast and you have too much vibration from the tool, that vibration can get into your finish. And what's the point? We're using this because we want the most consistent, cleanest finish possible. So for aluminum, I run this at around 2000 RPM. That's uh, 1300 SFM. And for 4140 and steel harder materials, I run it around 1200 RPM. That's both in high belt as well. For step overs, when the part diameter is bigger than the tool diameter, the fusion default of 95% works great. However, when the part diameter gets smaller than the tool diameter, the cut starts to become a little bit more thumpy. In steel, with a different insert, there's quite a bit of a difference in tool pressure and your tool engagement matters quite a bit more. I've found that in aluminum, I can run right up the middle and unless the part diameter is, let's say, under half an inch, it works just fine. Generally, the best surface finish will come from the most consistent tool pressure in the cut. Before we get into the machine or the results, the Superfly is not my preferred rougher, and even though you can run it pretty hard in low belt, I tend to keep my machine in high belt just because 
it takes a little bit more time to continuously be switching from high to low, high to low. But here is a video of the Superfly cutting at 3.52 cubic inches, I believe, and just looks great. Just not what I like to do. As you can see, all these finishes look very consistent, and I feel like that's where this tool really shines. First off, we have 4140. So what's interesting about this is that looks very consistent. Nice, right? This was actually my first cut. You can see the tool marks actually change from one side to the other. That may also be because the tram could be a little bit out. And because the tool has such a large diameter, it magnifies that effect. A well tram machine is gonna have a cross hatch pattern, but sometimes you can get around that. What I ended up doing on my second cut is running from the other side on my facing tool path. I just hit the from the other side option, which makes it really easy. And I was able to get a very nice, consistent, clean cut. Let's see what RA it is. This is our star profilometer. What this does is it measures the surface finish of a part. It gives you two different values. RA, which is roughness average, and RZ, which is the value from the highest peak to the lowest valley. So let's see what, because it shuts off. Da -da -da. Sub 10 is really good. I don't think I'm gonna get that good on this 4140, but let's see. Nice and consistent. 22, I'll take that all day. If you look at the chips, they're nice and blue. You can tell there's no overheating. That's what you really wanna look for. Reading the chips with a tool like this is really important in my opinion. The 4140, the 316, and the 1018 were a 20 thou depth of cut at a 5 thou per tooth. And that's within the recommended range of that insert. And SFM, because I like to leave it in high belt, was around, I believe, 785. Next up is the 316, stainless. So you can see also, super nice and consistent. Let's see what kind of finish we get here. 13, a little bit better. You can tell the chips are a little bit different. I have a little bit of color in here. No tearing, just nice good looking chips. Next up is the 1018, and 1018 is known as kind of a gummy material, but it does cut well with a Superfly. I did cut this one dry. As you can see, the chips are a little bit gold and a little bit more curly, so you can tell it's a little bit more free machining. Everything looking nice there too. This isn't gonna be nearly as good on this one. RA of 52, super interesting. Same insert, same depth of cut, same feeds and speeds, and super different results. Now let's get to the aluminum. This is where I feel the Superfly really shines. This is all 6061. With the first block, I used a Corloy SEHT 1204 AFFN insert and I ran this at 2000 RPM, 20 thou depth of cut with a 5 thou per tooth. What I found too is it doesn't really help with this insert to cut a lower depth of cut or a smaller chip load because sometimes you'll get this kind of streaking going on the finish. And let's see what this reads out. Eight. The next insert we're going to try is our PCD insert. Remember only one cutting edge, one diamond cutting edge per insert. One of the most interesting things I found with this insert is the chip shape. Look at how tight the curls are, how shiny everything is. This is a nice looking finish. I did drop the chip load to about 3 thou per tooth for this insert because it should be a little sharper and able to hold a better edge. So I thought a little bit lower chip load is not going to hurt it. So let's see what this reads out. I think my record is either 3 or 4. It's barely even moving. Six, six RA. Let's see what happens on this last piece of aluminum. On this one, we actually use a YG insert. This is a YG SEGT 1204-AL. As soon as I saw these, I got excited because I had been chasing that mirror finish for, with the Superfly for quite a while. So if these inserts performed just as good as their tools, I thought, you know, hey, this is my shot. So let's see what happens. I ran this at 20 thou. Depth of cut with a 5 thou per tooth, 2000 RPM. It's actually the same as that first block. And this thing is just flawless. So let's see what it reads. There's a couple scratches on here because I have already tried it. So I know what it reads, but let's, let's just see. Boom, five. Earlier it said four, but I'm happy with five. I mean, anything under 10 is just spectacular. And to get that consistent of a finish, with this uh, low of a cost insert, I will take that all day. And I've done multiple runs, small production runs for the shop, uh, 4140 and aluminum, and just using that Superfly with those recipes, it's just works every time. 
Well guys, I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it informative. And if you have a Superfly, I hope you can duplicate these results. Thanks for watching and see you next time.